Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to a timeless pick a card reading. I just want to say before I begin, thank you to everyone for the well wishes. I was out for the count yesterday. I had a bit of a cold, just a regular cold, nothing to be worried about. And today I am so much better. It's not quite like I didn't have it. I've still got some little symptoms, but I've recovered really, really fast. And I think the reason I've recovered so quickly is because I've been meditating twice a day, every day, 20 minutes. And I will be sharing my practice with you guys. Uh, I'm gonna put together a video and I think a PDF or something like that. And that, that will be available on my website in like maybe a month or two. Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm telling you this meditation thing is amazing and while I was meditating this morning a really interesting thing happened I had this thought in my head which was pretty random you know thoughts do come in meditation and the thought was I wonder what the inside of an acorn looks like and the reason I thought this is because I had picked a couple of acorns and brought them home for my mum. So on my walk, there's an oak tree and I found these acorns. Anyway, she was really excited because she's like, oh, I've never seen an acorn before. And yeah, so she kept them, you know, just, they were just on the shelf. Anyway, when I finished my meditation and yeah, I had the thought, I wonder what the inside of an acorn looks like. I came into the house and mum said to me, Oh, you know those acorns you gave me? She said, well, I, I just cut them open. I thought you might like to know what the inside of an acorn looks like. And I was like, that's amazing because I just was just meditating. I was meditating in the garden. That's where I do my meditation. And yeah, I had the thought, what does the inside of an acorn look like? So that's pretty amazing. Anyway, that fuels the topic for today which is what are you alive to? I thought that would be a really cool thing to look at and just see what are you alive to in the now? What's happening in the now? Let's see if we can be quiet in the, in the present moment with this reading. I thought that'd be fun. So and also, if you've stuck around this far into the intro, I also want to say Happy New Year. I'll probably say that as I'm shuffling for everybody. But I'm wishing everyone a really great 2022. You know, this is been a tough couple of years and I do anticipate this should be this should be kind of because this is the last of Saturn in Capricorn you know we'll be closing a chapter by the end of this year so I'm looking forward to that I'm sure you are too all right let's get into the reading so you can choose from group one the tourmalinated quartz which is fantastic for journeying through layers of consciousness we've got I believe is it black tourmaline I think so you guys know what it is and <laughs> so many people have told me in the comments what that is uh, and rose quartz of course so feel free to choose your crystal and I'll see you in your reading hi there group number one if you chose group number one or this beautiful tourmalinated quartz crystal then you are in the right place this is a really great crystal for journeying traveling traveling through layers of consciousness maybe if you want to do some astral travel or something like that in the jar today we've got uh who do we have we have got Stuart wild he's a really great spiritual teacher and i also want to say oh well we'll take that one <laughs> i also want to say happy new year to everyone so the last day of the year and whether you are I'm sure a lot of people are happy to say goodbye to, the, to this year but you know who knows some, maybe some of us will miss this year you know um, yeah all right now what else do we have we're gonna take oh why don't we why don't we shuffle with Saturn my Saturn deck see what he has to say And I want to thank all those of you who 
um, yeah, you sent me your well wishes. I think it's, you know, you, you guys have amazing energy and I think you guys helped me recover very quickly from what I had. It was just a little, just a little something. <laughs> And I don't label these things and I just, you know, I do the whole, I've always done the whole isolate thing. I never like being around people when I'm not well. I don't know, that's just, yeah, I just kind of, um, I always like to be very isolated <laughs> if ever I'm under the weather. All right, so let's take a look and see what's going on here. I'm very excited. Okay, why? 31, this is interesting. There's a book with angel wings coming out of it. And I believe this person has got angel wings on as well. All right. Well, let's see if this mystery is going to be... <laughs> we're going to get some... Uh, some answers here but in terms of like you feeling alive or what's the topic today we've got something of it's going to be something around feeling alive or feeling in the now I think within you at the moment you've got some burning questions there's something you want to figure out or you want to get to the bottom of allow yourself to receive open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending to you. Wow, so straight away, this is really interesting because we've got you asking why, and this card saying that the answers are coming to you. Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending to you. Answered prayers, answers. The answers are coming. But are you alive to them? That could be a theme that you're working through. Let's have a look here. Two of Wands in reverse. Okay. We'll come back. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got here for Tarot. All right. So we have got, now this would be, I believe, the page of pentacles yeah I haven't used this deck for a while but that's definitely looking like a page of pentacles to me that's good oh we've got the star how beautiful great card oh nice the king of wands fantastic wonderful Okay, this is really interesting. Allow yourself to receive. I think the answers are coming through. There is, I think in, in the now, if we're looking at what are you alive to in the now, or this kind of theme, I think you are very curious. There's something you wanna to get to the bottom of And I'm getting this sense that like, yeah, you want to know, but you don't want to know that he, he's this person, if it's a he or she, I'm not 100% sure, but this person is kind of lightly, gingerly touching the book. And they've got one foot on kind of solid ground and the other foot here. And so there's something about, yeah, you're, you're gingerly touching another realm or something. The answers are coming through. But if you're in a state of questioning, you're not in a state of receiving. This is so basic and so fundamental. When, if you're just seeking, you're actually not receiving. You're just in the energy of questioning. Try and switch into the energy of receiving. See if you can be receptive. Isn't that interesting 
we can only really be in one state at a time. When you're questioning and seeking, yes, you're going on a journey and we've got this crystal here, which is all about journeying, journeying, journeying through the realms of consciousness. Perhaps you're traveling the world or wanting to travel or you, you want to get to the bottom of something. We've got this crystal here, which is really interesting. But it, it kind of feels like you need to change state. And when you change state from one of seeking, questioning, asking, to being receptive, then these wonderful things are very much going to open up for you. Abundance is wanting to come in. Healing is wanting to come in. Your creativity is wanting to flourish. But it's just about what state you're in in the now. So keep examining your state, how you feel. Are you seeking? Are you puzzled? This could also be confusion. You could be confused as well. You might be in a state of confusion where you're like, well, I'm confused. Krishnamurti says, if you are confused, first stop action. And I think that's good. I think that's a great thing. So if you are confused or seeking and not finding, because the desire behind that seeking can become problematic. It can become a blockage on your path. If, if you're burning to know that strong desire and that incredible seeking might be stopping things from actually coming in. And perhaps answers and all that are coming to you right now. They're coming in. And this is something that Sister Wendy Beckett talks about. She says that God is coming through all the time. It's we who don't see. It's we who don't notice. It's we who are in other states of being. That we're not looking, that we're not, you know, we're not receptive. We're not taking in the great good that's around us. And I suspect you've got abundance around you. More wants to come through. New abundance wants to come through. Page of Pentacles, the new, new, new money, new sources of income, new things, you know, new ideas. The, this, I think, is your, these are your gifts and your talents. This is mature and full and ready. It's ready to go. You're ready to give. You know, you're ready to give what you have within you. So definitely don't be comparing yourself. If you require any healing or any of that, that's here for you in the now as well. And that will help you to express yourself fully. It will help the abundance to come in as well. This is amazing. This is great energy. Let's take a look at this reversal. I want to take a look at this. So now the two of wands is this young man here who's got the world in his hands and he's looking to the horizon He, You know, I think it's something about, I think you send your ships out or something like that or you want to see what ships are coming back in. There is some of that energy, but maybe you've stopped planning for your future because you're... Your energy is, is in this. Let's clarify some of these things. Uh, which deck do I want to use? I think I want to use this deck. I kind of consider this my sun deck. <laughs> and the black one is my Saturn deck. So I want to work with the sun right now. <laughs> I haven't worked with the sun for a while. Well, I work with the sun every day. Uh, here in Australia, it's a lot of, there's a lot of sun. Oh, let's take this as well. And when I'm being creative, that's... Yeah, sun energy as well. Okay, let's take a look and see what we get here. All right, the nine of wands. Yes, okay. I thought that was the nine of swords and I was like, oh no, but this is not bad. <laughs> I feel like you're possibly guarded about something. But you're on the brink of completion with something. Oh, nice. The Knight of Pentacles. Fantastic. This does come up 
a bit for group one and that is the, the slow journey thing comes up this is this is one of the slowest cards in the deck okay so this is about slow growth slow growth here and let's just put these on top now this is something you're guarded about or you're protecting maybe at this time and it kind of feels like you want the answers first but that's not the nature of faith that's not the nature of trust and that's not the you see you'll have to be vulnerable to open up and to allow yourself to receive it, you, you will have to be vulnerable in order to do that so that's what I think is going on here let's take one more from yeah let's have another one of these Does this have something to do with vulnerability? Let's have a look. Oh, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, okay. Yep. I do see. I think if there's a situation in your life that you are confused about, don't stay in the confusion. Okay. If you're only trying to work it out with your mind, then this is the result. If you think the mind is the thing that has the answers, uh, it's not going to be a, a good thing. Let's take a look and see what Stuart Wilde has to say. let's take these two but otherwise if you allow yourself to receive and you know what we're gonna we're gonna put these on the back burner because these are linking in these are linking in with this I can see this is that <laughs> I can see that I think these are better this is what's coming in for you abundance healing your ability to be creative and let's make this upright because i think take the focus off the area of confusion bring the focus back onto yourself and plan plan what you want anything that's confusing stop action and just let it be for now i think that's really the ultimate guidance there and look at that knight of pentacles that's solid that's you're on solid ground you're in you're in good shape here nice you are here to experience life not to escape from it Stuart Wilde yes yeah that's good and part of experiencing is being vulnerable is allowing yourself to receive is opening up look at that word there open yeah yeah exactly see you've got to open yourself open your arms be vulnerable let life in experience life don't need to figure it out with your mind okay because when you do that look at what happens if all you do is try to figure it out with your mind you see the book you're just trying to use the mind look at what you get it's not it's not a great happy picture that you, you'll get kind of a, a pile of cards like this <laughs> okay when you allow yourself to receive you open yourself you're vulnerable you change state okay rather than questioning and demanding and wanting to be on top of this situation you open yourself and you you become humble and open and look at what comes in amazing things are going to come in for you I'm excited for you, group number one. This is a great read. Wow. I'm learning things myself here. Okay, let's see. Each moment of our life, we either invoke or destroy our dreams. We call upon it to become a fact, or we cancel our previous instructions. Absolutely. You want to keep the momentum going of your dreams, right? Every time you're in the mind and you have doubt, or 
you question or you need it's like if you there, yeah there's a lack of faith and trust here where it's like you want the answers before you take a move that's not going to work you know you've got to be open and you might think being open and vulnerable sorry about that it got cut you might think that being open and vulnerable means that you're going to get hurt it's actually the reverse being open and vulnerable means the good is going to come in okay that's that's it that's all you have to do group number one stay in faith stay in trust explore faith explore trust bring the focus back onto you bring the focus back onto your plans and bit by bit keep building up your dreams instruction by instruction and don't you know cancel out doubt don't allow doubt don't allow fear group number one i'm excited for what's coming up for you please let me know how you got on with this reading and i look forward to seeing you next time oh and also happy new year as well <laughs> i look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number two if you chose group number two or this volcanic glass you guys have told me it's a piece of volcanic glass which is ever so slightly dusty <laughs> oh, there's a lot of dust i don't know why sydney's a dusty place all right maybe it's just this house all right let's get into the reading let's see what's going on we're gonna shuffle these now we're gonna look at what are you alive to in the now i kind of want to explore what's in your now what's alive in you and the reason for that is because you have been meditating quite a bit lately and it's so good i'm enjoying it so much and um it's really keeping me grounded keeping me in the now moment keeping me keeping me well you know i had a, a, yeah, a bit of a cold and i've recovered very quickly normally it would take me a really long time to recover and what i'm discovering is and i've also done a bunch of other things like stop coffee and um what else have i done well you know clean up my diet a bit as much as i can <laughs> that's a work in progress but no i have i really have uh, improved a lot of things and my health has improved a lot too okay let's see what comes through and i want one more what's the other one oh this yes this beautiful deck here i haven't worked with this one for a while really love it the artwork in this is stunning oh that one's poking out okay let's take a look and see what you've got oh how nice milk and honey this is great and is that a baby elephant yes it is there's a rainbow and there's a very contented looking face in the sky <laughs> so we're off to a good start happy news well, group number two i tell you what's alive in your now is good stuff your prayer is answered in a creative way beautiful all right i'm loving the energy here oh, okay Okay, this happens sometimes. All right, the Page of Swords in reverse. Mm-hmm. The plot thickens. All right. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, how nice. The King of Cups. Wonderful. Gosh, we've got a lot of sort of animals <laughs> jumping out of water, like jumping for joy kind of thing. That's great. all right we've got now i think this is the high priestess yes oh she's beautiful here are those oh i was going to ask are those strawberries but i think they're pomegranates yes that's right actually i think the pomegranate is in the original uh tarot as well interesting the nine of wands okay so we've got a little bit of digging to do because on the one hand this is fantastic there's just a lot of just beautiful energy here so what's alive in your now 
I would say at some level, there's a lot of joy, there's a lot of good. But, and we're going to see actually where does she belong because I'm not sure just yet. And I, I kind of think like relationship wise, things are nice here, things are harmonious. So if you feel this isn't your reading, you can of course dip into another one, but we'll see how this progresses because I'm, I'm going to draw more cards here. And I think I'm going to use this deck, see what's going on. Page of Swords in Reverse, Nine of Wands. To me, this and these two together here, the way they are, I think there's something where you are having to be a bit guarded, be a bit protective. Perhaps there have been some arguments. If that's the case, I don't feel like they're big arguments. It's kind of at the, at the mild level of annoyance or frustration. It's not something huge that you need to worry about. But there's, there is something going on in your space that's perhaps causing you to withdraw. Okay. So let's clarify on this situation and see what comes. I'll take two and see if we need more than two. Okay, let's see. Well, yeah, there's a lot of positivity there. Okay, let's see what we're going to find out here. All right, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Three of Cups upright. Mm. I want to find out why is he in reverse. Let's take another deck. Oh, that one was poking out. Okay, I just saw the emperor there, but we'll put him back in. <laughs> Let's take this one. All right, the ten of swords, far out. Yeah, there is something going on here. There is some kind of situation, and this could be... Hmm. I've got, I just had an idea come in, but I'm not convinced. I want to draw another card. Mm, let's take this one. <laughs> A tower. Oh, okay. Gosh, this is wow. It wasn't that deceptive because, like, that was that's just gold. So. And I am going to, I'm kind of tempted to put this over here. And now I'm just going to park it there. You are going through something pretty big here, group number two. So it's kind of like on the surface and perhaps on the surface, you're being okay with everything. But underneath, oh, there's a whole world of stuff going on and it's yeah, the word I'm getting is tumultuous, actually. Like, there is a lot happening here. I think you're... Mm, is this just a veneer? I want to get some one card just for this. This, I mean, this could be here. This could be the fact that you're dealing with multiple people or... This is not just a situation where it's just you and one other person. This could be something to do with work and there are, there are a few people involved. And there's basically with these, what we've got is we've got, yeah, I mean, we've got some pain here. We've got difficulty. We've got, you know, this card, this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, which is the slowest card in the deck. So something has happened materially. I think this is to do with work. 
there's some kind of arguments or politics or something happening at work and you're having to guard and protect yourself. I want to draw one card for what's happening here. Oh, okay, hang on. I want to pick up the whole deck first. <laughs> I want to see, all right, what happy news, king of cups, milk and honey. What is this? Two cards, okay. There's a lot going on here. Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. This is good. Any, any heartache, any heartbreak that you're going through, this will be coming to an end. But I don't think this is a heartache or heartbreak situation. I actually think this is something to do with your work. And again, this is kind of showing to me that it's been, it's been important for you to kind of cloak yourself or to, you've had to dim your light. You've had to not be so this, like which you are, okay? So you're amazing. You're creative, happy, cool, you're, you know, you're fine. But I, I kind of feel like, I think people around you, there's some kind of meltdown or there's something massive going on here. And I feel like maybe you've had to dim your light You've had to, um, and I think you personally, you're fine. I think at some level, you're fine. I, don't, I've, I feel like you're not too involved because look, you're the high priestess here. She's kind of above everything. This is a card of being guarded. So I feel like you're fine. You've had to dim your light, okay? You've had to just, okay, re recognize that you can't be this. Um, incre incredibly happy, <coughs> sorry, spiritual person that you are. Like you're, you're, you're great. Okay, I don't think this is just veneer. Because at first I was thinking, I think this might be just. Is this just some, some kind of veneer? This is not you. I'm telling you now, this is definitely not you. You've just had to dim your light. And I think this is representative of this whole situation. That, and and this is yeah. Let's, let's keep this and let's get one more from the sun deck because I want to find out here. Yeah, I kind of, I just want to see, I sort of want to see the out, outcome or what, what the resolution is or, you know, yeah, I just, yeah, the magician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so. <coughs> Sorry about the coughing, guys. But um, I'm telling you now, the resolution of this is going to be just fine. You being there is going to be good for the entire situation. Uh, and I kind of feel like you're bringing very quietly behind the scenes without saying anything or getting involved or you just being there. In this situation, you're you're bringing the magic and the healing. Okay, so just stay out of it. <laughs> you don't need to get involved in any of this because it's going to resolve itself. And you being there is bringing magic, healing, light. Uh, remember, I think the only thing to remember is remember that when the situation passes and cleans and clears and heals. Just remember to switch your light back on, okay? Just remember to shine again, to be happy again, to, you know, you're allowed, you're allowed to be successful and happy and in a good way. If you've had to cloak yourself for now, perfectly fine, very wise in fact. But I think it's going to resolve and yeah, I would be fascinated to know what this situation is. This is I'm just reading that I've never had a spread leg, but this is amazing. So let's see, let's see what Stuart Wilde has to say. What additional wisdom we are going to draw through here. Oh, how perfect. Life was never meant to be a struggle, just a gentle progression from one point to another, much like walking through a valley on a sunny day. Yeah. And I, you know that. I think deep down you know that. And I think you're letting people get on with it and you're letting them battle it out, okay? Because they're like energies and they have 
to do that for now and that's that's okay so you let them do that but you know this because you're living this I believe life was never meant to be a struggle just a gentle progression from one point to another you're doing that I can see that so this matches beautifully now let's see what we've got in here oh, that's a good quote to come up for this reading nice the function of abundance is not to possess things but to use them and gather experiences absolutely all of this earning money and climbing corporate ladders and I, I don't know I feel like you're in some kind of situation where look at that knight of pentacles in reverse yeah you're in some kind of this is some kind of work situation or people maybe people are backstabbing or there's something quite full-on going on around you it could be quite political could be all kinds of things but you know that none of this stuff really matters and that you know those people who promote their ego and they you know they act like it's life and death and it, it's really not um, because money is when we die you know we don't take our houses or our designer handbags with us right like we just we just um we take our memories and experiences and that's it so yeah I, but I feel like you know all this and you're doing great group number two thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time hi there group number three if you chose group number three or this beautiful rose quartz crystal then you are in the right place so let's take a look and see we're gonna look and see whoops what are you alive to what's alive within you right now have a look through the cards i hope wherever you are you're doing well got a new year coming which is very exciting okay i'm going to take one from the saturn deck shuffle these a bit more some of the same cards keep coming through which is fine <laughs> it's kind of bizarre how that happens okay and the quotes this time are by Stuart Wilde I've really been enjoying getting into his work again actually I was into his work some time ago but yeah, he's resurfaced. His teachings are incredible. And my favorite piece by him is actually, I think it's the last interview. There's so much wisdom in that. So much. Okay. All right, let's take a look and see what has come through. What are you alive to in the moment, in the now? Oh, go the distance. Yeah, and we've got the, let's not forget the rose quartz. So we've got a lot of love on the table already. Have some healing happening, some love. That's good. Go the distance. So this is great. There's energy, there's excitement, there's enthusiasm. There's, you know, you want to do something. You want to go places. This is a great start. Love that. So there's definitely deep within you some kind of enthusiasm in the now. Oh my gosh, this again. We had that. Allow yourself to receive. Okay. Open your arms to welcome the blessings and answered prayers that God is sending you. Isn't that funny? And wasn't it, was, was it when I was shuffling this deck that I said the same cards come up again, even though I shuffle? That is so funny. Maybe I manifested that. Okay, the Nine of Wands. Well, we've had the Nine of Wands. Wow. All right. It's upright, though. Yeah, okay. And we've had, we've had quite a bit of Nine of Wands already. And has each group 
that I'm not sure. Okay, oh, this is good to have in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Good, 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 good. That's a good card to have reversed. Not so good when it's upright. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Wow, the tower. All right, let's take a look and see what's going on. Uh, yeah, there are a few things popping up. Um, so you've had to be a little bit, I always re read this as a card of being guarded. You could also be on the final stretch of something. You've been working really hard and you're on the final stretch. You're, you're about to complete on some kind of cycle. You're about to get there, but you're not quite there yet. Okay, and you are going the distance. It's this. Look at that. He's not quite there yet, but he's virtually there, right? So he's he's just about there, but he's not quite there. And I I do see this. I think this is in relation to wealth and money and abundance. Actually, that's what I think this is. I think you've been working really hard to get your abundance better, to get your abundance stronger. That's been a real focus for you. And you're going to be coming out of the cold, okay? Let's say you've been working for a really long time, but you haven't been earning much or as much as you normally do because you've had to be doing the work. I really relate to this, actually. Because, yeah, when you're setting something up from the beginning, from scratch, like there's a lot of extra stuff you have to do that you don't get paid for. But the thing is, if you do it, later you'll be rewarded, okay? And you're going to be coming to a time where you will be coming out of the cold, okay? It, it has probably felt like you're out in the cold and it's you're not earning enough right now. But this in reverse means that you're going to be inside this building with all this abundance, having a wonderful time. That is coming and I can see that I think you've been concerned about this because, yeah, we've got the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse. But again, this is only just here in reverse for now because it is that early time. It's like when it's like when you're writing a book, you spend like a year or a year and a half writing a book. You have no money coming in. Right. It's not easy. So. But when you finish the book. Then you just sit back and allow yourself to receive okay so i feel like i feel like you're working on projects or things that are long and hard and you got to go the distance but you're not earning anything while you're doing these projects okay and yeah you're not earning but i tell you just keep going is the guidance definitely keep going You've got a towel moment here, which is really interesting, and I'm not quite sure what that is referring to. So I want to dig around and see what this towel moment is all about. What do I... Hmm, I think I want to use some from this deck. So let's see. What is this towel moment about? Actually, what I'll do is I'll kind of lay them on top. Oh, I think that's all right. Hang on. Make these a little bit more like this and I'll just put them on top. Actually, why don't we do something a bit different? No, I'm now feeling inspired to go for one of these. What is the tower moment about? And then I'll go for the the other. Yeah, so what is this tower moment about? Okay, let's take that one that's kind of sticking out. Higher power. Oh, wow. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to draw some more cards here. Tower moment. What's the tower moment about? Higher power. Hanged man. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is very interesting. I'll take one of these. Because you might be in a period or coming up to a period where you're not you're not able to just go for it. You're not able to just uh, complete. 
that's interestingly what this tower moment is. It's a very peaceful looking tower moment. It's not a, uh, you know, it's not a destructive one. And look, I mean, there's a lot of peace on her face there too. Let's get some more information. Let's see what this is. Page of Wands in reverse. Okay. The Emperor. Yeah. Because you're on your way to becoming the Emperor. You really are. This is for sure your future. It, it, it is. Look at that. It's a tree. It's that long project that you have to do that takes ages before it bears fruit. And I think maybe definitely don't uh, don't lose steam. Don't this page of wands in reverse may mean that yeah you you you're, you f maybe you feel like your fire is about to run out or um, you know this thing of can I keep going. I'm telling you, you can, okay, because, and yeah, I want to say this, I'll say it, the future has already happened. The emperor, the tree is there. That's a very Stuart Wilde concept. We're going to see what he has to say. Uh, and I've been reading about this from other people as well. But you might be just in a temporary phase of needing a bit of time out, needing a bit of rest. Maybe you feel like your candle is about to, you know, or there's something. And I'm here to say, do not give up. Keep going, but take the rest that you need, okay? You're allowed to rest. You're allowed to just stop. You're allowed to, you know, and I, I know what this is like. I know when the ideas are coming thick and fast. I've got a cue in my head at the moment, not, but I don't have the energy to do anything about this cue in my head, right? Because we do need to rest, you know, we do need to take time out. That's so important. Queen of Wands in Reverse. Look at that, Page of Wands in Reverse, Queen of Wands in Reverse. Wow, yeah, you need time out. You really do. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. Take the time. Take the time, Group 3. I've been taking the time. I've needed time. You know, uh, definitely. So this is a, definitely a big message of um, take some time out. And don't worry, the, the, just write down your ideas. They will be there for you. The, and the energy will be there to, look, you've manifested the energy. It's, it's just in reverse for now. It's just on pause for now. When you're ready to go, whoosh, these will be back. These will be alive and vibrant, okay? You do need rest. We all need to rest. I relate to that. I've needed some rest recently. Yesterday, I was just, I just conked out. I couldn't. Um, but what I'm discovering is that what I do now, because I meditate twice a day, 20 minutes every day, because I definitely do that and I build rest into my days, when I do get sick, I'm down for a day. I'm not down for five days like I used to be. I used to get really sick all the time. Oh my gosh. When it comes to sickness, I know sickness really, really well. I've spent time in hospital. I've been, yeah, I've been massively unwell across my life. Um, but that's all becoming a thing of the past for me now. Let's have a look and see what the sun has to say. Yeah, Queen of Cups. Look at that. Oh, how beautiful. You need to nurture yourself. That is what you need to do. That's it. That's all you have to do. These will upright. Your creative fires will be back on. You will be alive. Just take time out. Just nurture yourself. Just love yourself. Allow yourself to rest. Allow yourself to receive. Look at that. That means allow yourself to receive time that's just for you. You know, time to just totally relax. Nurture yourself. Pamper yourself. Eat healthy foods watch you know stuff that you like that's fun nurture yourself relax rest yeah you need to do that that would be a really good thing for you to do well let's take a look and see what Stuart Wilde has to say and this emperor thing you creating you know the vision and the thing you want you're going to do it okay you're definitely going to do it but along the way you're just going to need to slow down and really 
rest and look after yourself. And if you can, build that rest into your day. Uh, every day that's going to be a really good thing so what i've been yeah this meditation thing i'm loving it i will be I, I will be sharing it with you guys via my website um soon so i will let you know <laughs> but let's see what Stuart wilde has to say oh wow it takes a constant effort of mind to avoid the abundance that life offers naturally yeah this is good look at that it takes a constant effort of mind to avoid the abundance that life offers naturally you see when we're in ego all the time when we're striving when we think we're the only ones doing everything when we we think it's oh it's, it's only up to me and i have to you know work 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 and no that's not it that's actually a lot of struggle you know that's actually a lot of struggle and i think and that's why this higher power thing has come up because the higher power is coming in to say look don't think that you have to be like a maniac and you know you don't have to burn yourself so hard and fast you know, let the divine step in and help you like the divine wants to do that the divine wants your journey to this emperor to this tree to be smooth actually and to be we had that we had that just um smooth where was the struggle there was one that was about struggle. Yeah, life was never meant to be about struggle. I'm going to give you this from the other group. Life was never meant to be a struggle, just a gentle progression from one point to another, much like walking through a valley on a sunny day. This was in the previous group, guys. Okay, well, we're running out of time. I'm going to open this up. We're going to see what we've got here. Before the thingy runs out, the memory card's going to fill up. If it fills up, doesn't matter. I'll start again. Uh, in a time of crisis, we all have the potential to morph up to a new level and do things we never thought possible. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's this last two years. You know, and we've got... So Saturn's been in his own two... Ha well, you know, he's, he's going to be in his own two houses from 2020 to 2025. So come 2025... By the time we emerge out of this phase of crisis, okay, hopefully, you know, we, and we, we are, we're the kind of people who's, you know, tuning into this kind of content. We're building the new earth. We are going to morph up to a new level and do things we never thought possible. We're doing it right now. We're creating that. We're creating, and you guys are definitely creating. I can see that. You're creating a lot. Let's take another one the um oh it's gone red it's flashing doesn't matter doesn't matter we're taking another one it just it was flashing red and i was like oh it's gonna run out okay let's have this one i don't know what this one is oh i love this the secret to success is to subjugate your ego and serve others yeah absolutely yes and I mean, look, I think you've been working really hard. You, you, I feel like you know that. I feel like you do this. I feel like you're on it. But it's like... Um, just take some time out. I think that's the big message that's coming for group number three. And let the higher power just take over for a little while. But group number three, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this has been a good reading for you. Let me know in the comments below how you got on. I'm wishing everyone a really happy new year. And I'm wishing that we all make really great progress in the year ahead. It's, you know, regardless of what's going on in the world outside, it's very exciting to have a new year, to have a fresh start. So thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.